Where is your secret place? Where do you find your time? Where do you find the time to just get alone with God? Because, you know, I find I, I find that I'm closest or at least feel the closest to God while I'm in his creation. And I know that's not ideal and practical for everyone else in this world, and that's perfectly fine. Maybe for you, finding your secret place has nothing to do with being out here in the woods or by a lake or by any kind of water, but it's actually just being still and just being with God wherever you can be. Some of you are parents, some of you have siblings, some of you have friends and family members, and you just can't find that time to just get alone with God. I encourage you really to really seek out that time, to pray and ask God, Give me some time so I can seek you and be just by myself. I just want to read quickly from Psalms 23 because it's been really, it's been really, you know, hitting lately, I guess you could say. It's been really good and, and really good to see it. As we look into Psalm 23, keep this in mind. This first line is so important. The Lord is my shepherd. It's so important to understand that God is our shepherd, that God is the one who is here with us. No matter where you're at, like car, bathroom, bedroom, in the woods, a thousand miles away from home, God is the one who is there with you. That's what he promises at the end of the Gospel of Matthew, that he will go with us to the ends of the world, that he will be with us, that the Holy Spirit is our comforter and our helper, and that no matter where we go or what we do, he'll be there with us and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So in Psalm chapter 23, it says this, the Lord is my shepherd. Understand this, that he is my shepherd. This, this language of possessiveness, of this is like mine, like this is my possession, like he is my shepherd. It's so important to understand and keep that in mind throughout this whole time that God is your shepherd. That the Lord Jesus Christ in John 10 says, I am the good shepherd. The sheep hear my voice. They don't follow a stranger. They don't follow another person. They don't follow this person or that person. These sh wolves in sheep clothing, he, they follow me because they know my voice. They know my commandments. They know what I have commanded them to go and do to preach the gospel. They know know my voice and they follow me so the Lord is my shepherd Jesus is my shepherd God is my shepherd I shall not want we're not in lack we're not in need spiritually physically emotionally mentally whatever desires that we have we delight ourselves in the Lord and he'll give us the desires of our heart we're not just in lack of anything physically or spiritually mentally or anything of that sort we're not lacking he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters the water is pretty still out here, guys. <laughs> it's it's iced over. Like the camera right now is on ice, like on ice on a lake. And I'm not worried about it falling because, I mean, there's a guy over there and he's ice fishing, so it's not going to break. It's fine. But he leaves me beside still waters. Again, we don't need this physical place of still waters. God can create places of still waters and green pastures wherever you're at. Like you can have kids and they can be yelling and crying and screaming and you can find peace in that very moment because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. It's not about God changing the situation or God doing this or that. It's about Jesus with you right now. Currently where you're at, Jesus with you. God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. How wonderful it is that no matter where you're at, no matter where you find yourself at, God is there with you and he can make you lie down in green pastures. He can bring you by still waters. He can find that peace for you and that he will be your peace with you in that current moment how wonderful is that because we live in a chaotic and crazy world things are happening left and right threats of war of famine earthquakes all these things that jesus said would happen before his coming back jesus is coming soon and we can find peace in that and hope in that we look to our savior our lord jesus christ coming back and we can find peace in him and him alone and then it goes on to say he restores my soul imagine that he restores my soul we're in verse verse three he's the one who lifts my head up he's the one who when i need refreshment i don't go to my phone even though i have a bad habit of doing that what i need to do is run to my savior run to my lord the one who can restore my soul my shepherd who can actually change things running to friends and family is a good thing after we run to the lord if we don't run to the lord first for all things then you know we'll find empty our restoring is not in our parents not in our friends not in our spouse not in a girlfriend or a boyfriend it's not in relationships it's in our relationship with our god with our, our shepherd the one who is constantly with us imagine this jesus says we're sheep sheep are pretty like not not the most useful animals i mean sure they give us great things like wool and, and all that i believe they give us wool right but regardless they give us great things but they don't have like survival instincts they don't have like 
they, they need still waters. They need green pastures. They need a shepherd to protect them from outside things. They need people to lead them. They're not the greatest survival instinct like a lion or like a tiger or a cougar. This is like, this is a sheep who's in need of a shepherd. We're in desperate need of God. And we need to run to him when we feel lacking, when we like lacking in terms of like we're hungering, we're thirsting for something more. It's God we thirst for. It's the shepherd that we want. It's the shepherd we want to see and to be close to. He's the one who restores our soul. That's why we feel this sort of spiritual hurting the spiritual longing because we're not connecting with the shepherd we are connected to him but we're not we're not really seeking him we're not really pressing into him and we feel this thirst this hunger for something more and that more is our shepherd we're sheep that are in need of a leader we're sheep that are in need of someone to restore our souls we're sheep in need of leading he leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake not for our glory not for us to be glorified and exalted above god but for god to be exalted and glorified glorified in our lives he's the one who leads us and imagine that a sheep in need of protection a sheep in need of restoring and a sheep in need of food or water sees the shepherd coming over the mountain seeing the shepherd around them close by them and he's so excited he's so joyful that the shepherd would come and be with him he can feel protected he can feel at peace he doesn't have to worry about threats he doesn't have to worry about uh, gossip and embarrassment and people shaming them he doesn't have to worry about the world he's so caught up in that the shepherd is there with them spending time with his sheep and he's so caught up in the love and the presence of his shepherd he doesn't care for what the world has to say he doesn't care what all they have to say he's so caught up in the presence the very presence of his shepherd and because of this even though he walks even though you walk even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil you don't have to fear no evil for you are with me who's with me my shepherd your rod and your staff they comfort me who's with me my shepherd is with me your shepherd is with you our shepherd is here with us again this sheep doesn't care for the world doesn't care for the evil doesn't care for the wickedness doesn't care for all the rottenness this world can throw at them all the all the blame and all the shame and all that the world can accuse them of the devil is accuser of the brethren and he accuses and throws accusation but there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus and we can find rest and peace in the finished work of our shepherd the finished work of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior we have a good good shepherd and he leads us and he restores us and we have no reason to fear outside enemies outside sources you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies we have to realize that there's not going to be an absence of our enemies around us. There's not going to be an absence of spiritual warfare, of physical people who want to come against us, who are demonic forces who want to push back against us chasing God, what we are doing. So understand this, that God can prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies, and yet you can still find peace in it. Again, we have this shepherd where sheep can just rest in. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be concerned. We don't have to carry the burdens of this world. Jesus says, why do you worry about tomorrow? The anxieties for today are enough in itself. Just care about today. Just follow me today. Just be in my presence today. Just pray today. Seek the Lord. And you don't have to worry about the things of this world. I'll take care of it. I'm your shepherd. I'm the one who is with you all the time and brings you peace in that secret place peace wherever you're at regardless of the friends of the family or the noise around you i'm the one who brings you peace i'm the one who draws you near i'm the one who loves you so dearly and so much you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows jesus is the god of overflow he wants us to be so overflowing with his presence with his oil with his anointing that it pours over into other people it's not that i just want to get uh, a little bit for myself or just take a little bit and go or not even fill up at all but i want to come and overflow like i want me to be bubbling up with the holy spirit filled with the holy spirit where it falls into other people and this is only going to happen in the secret place again where is your secret place how can we get back to this place where we're intimate and secret with god i believe god wants to raise up people a generation of people who want to be intimate with god and not so much just about the camera and the phone the camera the phone phone camera and the the microphone and the just being out here but more so people who genuinely just know jesus deeply people who just seek god for themselves it's not about what this person says or what this person thinks but they're just willing to go all out for jesus even if their own family criticizes them there's another uh, verse in 20, chapter 27 a psalm where it says even if my father and mother forsake me you will take me in 
It says, beautiful, for my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Psalm 27, verse 10. It's so important to understand that even if the world or even if our own family or friends despise us, hate us, turn their backs against us, we have a good shepherd that overflows in our lives and we can pour that out into the other people around us. Holy Spirit. Sorry, the water, the, the, the ice just cracked and just got me for a second. <laughs> But it overflows in our lives and goes into the people around us. And that's just awesome. This beautiful sight of I can be so filled with Jesus that people can sense it when I come into the room. When I open the door, walk into the room, not for my glory. Again, it's not for my namesake. It's for his that they can experience the presence and the peace of God. When the world is trembling and the world is falling apart, they can look to us christ in us the holy spirit in us and be like this person is so at peace i want what they have like the world is falling and shattering before me i feel like the world's collapsing and this person's so steady why are they so steady it's because they have a good shepherd it's not because of them or they went through some self-help and self-care and they just took care of them they look to a shepherd that was there they look to a shepherd who took care of them they look to a shepherd who loved them and was with them that's the beauty that's the whole beauty of it we have a shepherd that we can rely on that we can look to that we can find peace and we can be grateful for and gratitude show gratitude towards because whenever the shepherd is with us which is always no matter how i feel he's always with me that's what he promises that god's promises is faithful and true because he's faithful and true i can stand upon his promises that he is there with me all the time and i can be steady and at peace at all times surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life this is verse six Ending it off in Psalm 23, verse 6. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. How beautiful is that? Even on the bad days, even when things don't look good, even when things look like they're really just not going the way you want it. You're maybe sad, maybe just different things. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. How beautiful is that? We have to believe this even on the worst days. The terrible days that we feel. The days where we don't even want to get out of bed. Say to yourself, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God promises us salvation. He's given us his Holy Spirit as a guarantee, as a seal for our salvation, that he is coming back to receive us. He is coming back to take us away. Jesus said in John, I believe 14, when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, before he says, I am going to prepare a place for you, which means that I'm coming back to come and get you so that you can be with me where I'm at. God has reconciled us. Jesus has reconciled us to the father so we could be with god for the rest of eternity that god would dwell amongst his people just as he dwells with us right now he's going to dwell amongst us and be with us and and dwell with us how beautiful is that and now i can know that each and every day i've been promised salvation by grace through faith and that i have goodness and mercy the love of god chasing after me as, as a mountain go as a mountain goat leaps over these these mountains and hills and rocks and he climbs the mountains so effortlessly and bounding up so we can picture God pursuing us each and every day. Not from a distance. He's not standing a million miles away in a different galaxy. He's here with me right now. So I pray right now that you find comfort in the Holy Spirit. That you find comfort in your good shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one who said he is the good shepherd. Read Psalm 23. Read John 10. See who your good shepherd is that leads you and guides you in paths of righteousness for his namesake. The one who restores your soul. Who makes you lie down in green pastures and be, leads you beside still waters. He is your shepherd. You shall not lack. You shall not want. God bless you. Find your secret place with God today and consistently be with him on a daily basis. He loves you and he's there for you. He is your shepherd all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, amen.